Hey everyone, welcome to a War Thunder video, this time on the ME-264 German Long Range Bomber, battle rating 4.7. Today we'll talk about the armament capabilities, do some gameplay, and just uh, talk about the overall effectiveness and whether or not you think you might want to take this one out for a test drive. Let's get to it. Okay, the MB-264, German long-range bomber, battle rating 4.7 for realistic battles. I don't believe I had this quite spaded, it's mostly spaded by the time we did this, this video. Um, and we're going to be taking the four 1,000 kg bombs, you notice the explosive mass at 600 kilograms each. That's more than the PE-8 also carrying 1,000 kilogram bombs. It only has 465 kilograms. So this bomb load for this plane is capable of taking out those 625 kilogram bases with just one bomb because of the burning effect or the bleeding effect that you get on the bases after you bomb. And I'll post a link to the base bombing health guide and you can take a look at that at your leisure. So enter the match here quick look at the scoreboard shows that we are the only bomber, the only real bomber on the map, the only long range bomber on the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the left side and we're going to line up so that we can get all of the bases in a row without having to make a few turns and you'll see what I mean here. I'll speed up this part of the video until we get lined up. Okay, now you can see how we have these bases lined up. This cloud cover has been really nice. No one's bothering us up here, even though we did divert a little bit. The clouds just make it so much easier, and it won't affect our bombing at all. So we'll just line up here on the first base, putting that reticle right down the center of our plane. Switch over to the bomb scope. You noticed even as far away as we were from the base when we turned, how close we are when we look at the bomb scope. So it's important to make sure you have plenty of room where you make those turns or you'll end up feeling silly as you loop back around. Now one thing I want to point out here is that little white reticle in front of our crosshairs. That's just where our bomber is heading. It is not any kind of wind adjustment. So don't ever use that to adjust for your bombs or it'll just it'll put you off target make you miss no fun at all so you can see we've already dropped our first bomb and the second base is already in our bomb scope this is why we did what we did when we moved over to the left hand side lined up the bases it makes this bombing so much easier because we can take out each of these bases with one bomb all three of these bases are ours See there, the first base was destroyed. Dropped our second bomb. This one's going to be a little more of adjustment because of just the way the bases are spread out. But still, not going to go crazy with the adjustments. It is a bit harder, as you can tell, to make an adjustment through the bomb scope versus just the way you fly your plane. So that's why you want to line them up, make it a little bit easier on yourself. I'm not going to get this perfect, but it is good enough to do the drop, destroy the base. So now that I've dropped that third bomb, all I'm really waiting for now is for that last bomb to hit. And we'll go over and bomb the airfield.
Okay, we've taken out all three bases, which is really nice just to have one bomber on the team, and that one bomber takes care of all the bases. What we're going to do here is try the bomb just to the right of the reticle. Because I want to hit the airfield on the back half. Maybe we'll be fortunate enough to catch an enemy plane on the runway and take him out as well. It's always good practice to do it, even though you don't normally catch them there. Every once in a while you will. Okay, last bomb's away. Time to turn back for our own base and then rearm. Okay, that's our base out there in the distance. I'm just going to line up the plane towards the front of the runway and kind of fast forward through this. You see we did hit the base, did a little bit to it, maybe 10%. It's going to take a beating. Getting really light on friendlies. There's only one Friendly left that tile 154 down there. Hopefully he's going to save the day for us. No, he just crashed. Okay, now that we're the only friendly left, things are going to get interesting. waste any time blind hunt on us so we know our exact position need to have eyes in the back of our head now cut my throttle trying to slow down so we can land reduce our altitude a little bit too the runway just up there on the right. Still need to slow down a bit though. Get under 400 kilometers per hour. Put our first set of flaps down. Okay, you can see the little red blip on the radar. That would be an enemy plane. We are right near the runway, though. He doesn't look like he's backing off. Though. Well, this is fun. We're going to try to land while we're fighting with the plane. Kill assist. We're coming in hot though. So we've only got one landing gear and we're sliding quite a bit. Just hit our brakes here and stop us, and then we'll just cut back to where we're back in the air. So you can see we get an air spawn on takeoff, which is nice. There's a P-51 just up there to the left. Looks like he's coming in. He's taking a beating from the enemy aircraft. The 
think I'm just going to do a tight turn back down the runway. See the any aircraft fire right behind us. He's back there, even though we can't see him. There he is. Oh, look at that. He's trying to ram us. Okay. He kissed the dust. We are the only friendly left, and none of our friendlies are even hanging around to watch, see what happens. We just got no confidence that we can win this game. But we're going to give it a shot. We are up, looks like, against a pretty good pilot. He's already got two kills. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Skip ahead. See if we can find that enemy pilot. Okay, there he is. We found him. We headed back to our airport. circling now. I really just wanted to get out there and drop some bombs, but I think he was more interested in taking me out. Yeah, he's closing in on us. Let's see what we can do to him with our turrets. There's a good hit on him. He's tearing us up pretty good, too. Well, unfortunately... Our gunner's reloading, and if you've watched a lot of other videos on this, you'll know it takes the gunners quite a bit of time to reload. So we're in a bit of trouble here. We're just going to have to take a beating while we try to get back to the airport. Good news is this plane wants to fly. Bad news is, man, is it really ripped up. Rudder's almost gone. Really difficult to keep this plane in the air. Even though our gunner's reloaded, I, I can't really turn around and look at this P-63. I'm just gonna have to let the turret guys do the job. Though I don't see him. He's disengaging. Looks like he's messed up bad enough, too, that um, he's got to go repair. This is going to be a really interesting landing. I don't really feel like I can turn around. I don't think we'll make it. So we're going we're gonna to give it a shot, though. Can't can't nosedive there, that would just be ending the game real quick. But the plane really wants to lift, you can tell. I'm having to just manipulate the throttle to put the nose down and go to 100%, get the nose back up. It's a real struggle to keep it in the air. This looks really sketchy. I'm really just hoping that P-63 crashes and dies before we do. Landing this is going to be a nightmare. I don't know how long I can play this game though, so I'm just going to turn towards the airport and see if we can put this down and get it repaired. Been really nice if I could have made that turn quite a bit tighter so I'd have a straight shot on the runway as it is it looks like we're coming in at a, at least a 45 degree angle if not a 90 degree angle by the time we get turned
is really sketchy. Let's see what happens. Well, we certainly tried, but that didn't work out for us. Let's get to the recap. Okay, let's see how we did. We did get that kill assist from our first attempted landing where we were pestered by that plane. Got another blind hunt, that's nice. 42,000 silver lines, 7,000 research. That's a very good result. Completed a battle wager too. Get another booster for that. And then a medal. First place in the team, 2,300 points. 2.2 tons dropped. All right. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Please like, please subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.